What's up everyone, this is Ash and this is a game called Hack. So Hack came out in 1984. This is a spawn of the game Rogue. Rogue being the first roguelike game, therefore it's named Rogue. Everything after it is like, right? So this is Hack, this is a spawn of it. And I don't know much about this game. I just know it came out in 1984. Um, let's see, I have a little bit of a description. Uh, that introduced shops and gameplay elements that expanded available monsters, items, and spells. Wow, okay. So let's check it out. Let me put my name in. So my name is Ash. Um, save file, put down the disc. Yes. Yes. Shall I pick a character for you? Sure, yeah. Yeah, yes, no, or Q for quit. This game, you will be a tourist. Not in this game, just this game you'll be a tourist. I will be a tourist. That is perfectly fine with me. Hit space to continue, no problem. Hello, underscore Ash. Welcome back to Hack. Or welcome to Hack. Be careful, new moon tonight. I will be careful, thank you very much. Let me move my keyboard because I need it. Full access for this. Uh, by the way, if, if you guys didn't see yet, I did set up Patreon. I'm going to be doing some exclusive stuff on that Patreon. It's going to be in the description. So if you want to check it out, it's right there too. And also I have a donation link too if you want to help out the channel in any way. All right. So let's... Wait, I move with... What, what do I move? No, I don't want to drop anything. You, haven't, you don't have that object. I don't want to drop anything. No, 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 no. I was just kidding. Uh, so how do I move is the thing here. I'm using the arrow keys and nothing's happening. Okay. Let's see. F1? Hmm. Unknown command. A lot of unknown commands. Okay, let me figure this out. Okay, I think I have an understanding of the controls. So, it's very all over the place. So, L is left. Uh, H is right. K is up. And I think it's N or B for down. Uh, so, it's a little bit weird. So, let me see. Um, K for up. Let's go, let's go to the left. Oh, there's something above me. So let's go ahead and go up, which is K. I don't know what that was. Okay, so in for down. Yeah, it's really weird with the down buttons. I'm not entirely sure what they do. Um, but I can't really find a manual in this game either. Not a very good one. Okay, let's go over here. We have something we could explore. Two different areas we could explore. Let's go ahead and grab that money. Uh, 82 gold pieces. Nice. Thank you very much. I like the gold pieces. Okay. So, uh, this game has no audio, by the way, because it's very retro. So, if you don't hear audio, it's not just you. It's, it's literally no audio in it. Which is great for copyrights, right? Um... Dog, I need to go back that way. I'm not trying to attack you. I'm just trying to leave. No, I don't I don't want to attack the dog. Here, do I have to wait first or something? Nothing to pick up here. Uh, is this one the wait button? I don't know. I can't leave because the dogs trapped me in here. Yes. No. I don't want to attack. So the D is a dog, by the way. It's my pet dog. Uh, yes. You hit the little dog. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to leave and you're in the way. Yes. You missed the little dog. The gnome misses. The little dog misses the gnome. No, I don't want to. How else can I leave here? Maybe B? Uh, I was hoping I could leave in like an angle or something. Don't have much choice here, guys. Um, Yeah, I, I don't know. You missed the gnome. The gnome misses... The little dog misses a gnome. Okay, so it's all like a grid system, and it's very, very beyond what I'm used to. Uh, you miss the gnome, and the gnome hits. The little dog misses the gnome. Okay, so everybody's getting a gnome miss here. You miss the gnome, the gnome misses. The little dog misses the gnome. Everybody's missing the gnome. Why am I attacking the gnome? Gnome hits. The little dog misses the gnome. You hit the gnome. The gnome misses. The little dog hits the gnome. The gnome is killed. Okay, can I get out of here now, dog, please? Uh, yes. Thank you for moving. I, I guess that's unfortunately how I have to hit you. Oh, okay, so I can move. 
Wait, can I go? No, 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 no. So if I use Y and U, then it does like a sideways thing too. Interesting. Okay, let's go left and let's get out of here. No, you keep getting in my way, dog. I'm not trying to. Alright, well, that, that's a little bit frustrating with the dog system, but it's okay. We, we are good. We're good. K for up and then H for over. And that just connects. So that's just another way to get out of here. Okay, cool. So we're going to go... Uh, can I go straight down? Is that possible to go straight down? There's got to be a way to go. No, no command for MG. Okay. There's got to be a way to go straight down. I think I just found it, actually. I think it was like J or something. Who knows, man? Um, dog, I need to go up. And you're kind of up there, so... Okay, there we go. We got you to move. Now let's go this way. I think the biggest struggle in this game would just be getting past the dog unit. Let's go up here. And we got an S and an L. What's L stand for? Lizard? Okay, so we're going to go south. South again. Then let's go back up north. And we're going to go... Oh, no. I don't want to attack the dog. Wait, so what I just pressed is trying to tell me to go down then. So J is down. All right, that makes sense. So, Jay. Ah, I got the controls down, finally. You hit the leprechaun. The leprechaun hits. You feel... Your purse feels lighter. Rude. I don't even remember having much money. I, I guess I got 169 gold. Very nice. Very nice. 169 gold. Okay, let's get past this tunnel here. And... Down, 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 Jay. All right, so... For future reference, J is down, K is up, H is left, and L is right. Yeah, I know, it's, it's very confusing, but I'm starting to figure it out, so... Uh, oh, no. This is a dead end. No, 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 I'm not trying to. Um, there's got to be a way to, like, tell the dog to move, right? Uh, dog commands or something. Okay, unfortunately, I'm going to have to go north, and the dog is blocking me, so yes... Oh, wait, is there a pathway to the right? Hmm. How do I get the dog to leave? Go up and... Okay, good, he's behind me. No, 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 no. We're not going back down, so that's a big N-O. Uh, what we're going to do is go to H. Press H. Yeah. We, we got so used to WASD being controls or at the arrow keys. So using a straight line of H, J, K, L is very interesting and strange. Um, different for me. It does make sense, though. I don't know what just happened. The leprechaun was there, by the way. I saw the leprechaun. He went this way. Hmm. I don't want him to get away, but he might just get more treasure from me if I tried to attack him. Uh, so let's go to the left here. And we're going to go north. And there's got to be a way to exit to the next area. So let me figure that out real quick. So when I try to go down, I'm thinking a shift dot, just like in the previous game. It tells me I can't go down there. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to go try to catch that leprechaun. I'm assuming I need to get the leprechaun first. So that's what I'm going to try to do. So let's go. Here he is. You hit the leprechaun. The leprechaun hits. Okay. Your purse feels lighter. Okay, so the leprechaun are obviously went somewhere else. He's a teleporter or something. So let's go see where he went. I can't go down that way. It's just kind of a... Oh, double. We got all so many leprechauns. Okay, let's, let's get this guy uh, up. You miss the leprechaun. The leprechaun hits. The leprechaun misses. The leprechaun misses. We got to get all these leprechauns. They're everywhere. You hit the leprechaun. The leprechaun hits. But we have two HP. We're we're going to die. You die. <laughs> I figured as much. All right, cool. Rest in peace, Ash. Zero A U. Whatever that means. K killed by a leprechaun. 2024. Wow. It says the date. That's interesting. Hit space to continue. Goodbye, tourist Ash. You died on dungeon level one with 50 points and zero pieces of gold after 321 moves. 
You were level 1 with a maximum of 10 hit points when you died. You made it to the top 10 list. I did. Nick Danger was killed on level 10 by a cockatrice. Who's Nick Danger? It must be just a default thing in there. Um, and then Ash T was killed on level 1 by a leprechaun. Yeah, I don't know how to exit the level. I tried, and it just tells me I can't. So, I don't know. I don't think I could get much further in this game. This game looks amazing, though. So, yeah. Let's, uh, let's check out what other games came out as well. Around the same time as the other games I mentioned is another roguelike called Moria. So we're going to check out Moria. This is uh, choose a race, question mark for out. Uh, this one looks like it got redone in 19, it, you know, more recently. Uh, the original game came out in 1982, and it seems like it needed some help. So this is the choose a race, question mark for more. So we have a human, elf, half-elf, halfling, gnome. Okay, so we could do, let's go with a classic. Let's go with gnome. We're going to be gnome. Uh, choose a gender. So we're going to do, let's, let's do a female gnome, sure. Age 73. Oh, I'm an old gnome, aren't I? Character background. You are one of the several children of a gnome prankster. You are a well-liked child. You have brown eyes, straight auburn hair, and a very fair complexion. Hit space to re-roll or escape to accept your characteristics. Um, do I get to put a name? I guess not. Um, I'm going to just... Sure, let's go with the default characteristics for now. Sure. All right, choose a class. Here we go. So we can do, let me look at my build real quick. So dexterity seems to be the primary thing here. Uh, so I guess it would be a rogue. That's what it's looking like. So I'm a gnome rogue in my name. There we go. Now you get to tell me which one to do. Uh, miscellaneous abilities. So we get fighting good, bows, excellent, saving throws. Uh, inf infrared vision, 40 feet. That's pretty handy. Okay, enter your player's name. So we're going to be Ash. And enter. Press any key to continue or Q to exit. Okay. Whoa. Okay. So this, a little background about this game. It's based on Lord of the Rings. Uh, Moria from Lord of the Rings. So I'm a gnome in Moria, I guess. There we go. Gnome, rogue, vagabond. So we have strength and then we have dexterity. We have 18 out of 10. I don't know what that means. All right. So, okay, cool. We just use the standard controls. There is there a shop here? I don't know what P stands for, by the way. Uh, Poppy. You hit the mangy looking leper. You hit the mangy looking leper. I hit him twice. You have slain the mangy looking leper. What are the lepers doing around here? You missed the battle scarred veteran. You hit the battle scarred veteran. The battle scarred veteran hits you. I'm surrounded by battle scarred veterans, by the way. Uh, you hit the Battle Scarred Veteran, and I miss. Uh, get hit again. What is my health at, by the way? Let me see. My HP, where is it? I got um, MHP and CHP. I don't know what the difference is. Okay, let's hit him again. Hits you. Now, I'm dead already. <laughs> Character record. Uh, no, I'm not going to record. I'm not going to save a record. I'm good without one. Um, X to a. You return to print on screen. Or file name. Yeah, the character's dead. The character's ripped. Let's try again. Let's try with a different one. Um, so we're rank one. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Uh, Moria. Um, no, I want, I want to reload it. Thank you. Uh, I remember a couple of DOS commands, so I'll do that. This is a DOS simulator. This is see, restoring memory of departed. I don't need that memory, actually, but okay. Um, this time, let's go with... Let's go with just an elf. And we're going to be Mel. Okay, and you're going to give me... Oh, charisma is pretty high on this one. Nice. And intelligence. So it looks like we're more of a, a wizard build or something. Yeah, I'll accept it. Escape. I'm going to go with a uh, priest. No, priest would be wisdom, right? You're one of the several children children of a green elf archer. You have light gray eyes, wavy brown hair, and a fair complexion. Okay, I'm going to do mage. 
And our name is going to be Ash... Again, yes, Ash again, with H's. Enter your player's name. That's my player's name. That's perfect. Any key to continue? Yes. You can now learn some new spells. Oh, can I? Can I? I would love to learn some new spells. So what is one? That's the first thing I want to do, is explore one. Larel the Calmly Elf, General Store. So I guess the store names would be different depending on what class you choose. Um, item is ration of food, strip of beef jerky, so I could buy stuff here. Uh, essentially, Br Brass Lantern with five, 7,500 turns of light. That's a lot of turns of light. I don't really need anything from here that I can see. Um, wooden Torch, uh, Spikes maybe? I don't know. I I'm good, I think. I'll exit the building. Okay, so what else do we have? We have building two over there. Let's do building four. Hard blow the humble human. Of course, you're human. <laughs> you got a holy book of prayers. Holy book of prayers. Uh, Warhammer. This is more like a cleric kind of a shop, I think. I, I would rather not deal with that one. So maybe... Oh my gosh, you hit the blubbering idiot. You have slain the blubbering idiot. <laughs> Of course, in a city like this, this is like just a city in Lord of the Rings world, right? Uh, Whistle the Chaotic Halfling Alchemist. Okay, so you have a bunch of potions. Nice. Treasure detection and all that. So what's number three? Beast Slayer. You got daggers. You would be good for anything that's a melee build. We've got Warhammer, Spears, Crossbow. That's kind of why my other character died is I didn't, uh, didn't equip enough stuff. You hit the mercenary like I mean, I don't think I need to attack them. Why are they attacking me? What? Why'd you attack me? That's so rude, man. So it seems no matter what you choose, uh, I re-rolled my stats several times. If you're an elf, you just have high intelligence. And that's it. This is a pretty good build right here, though, because everything's pretty high. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one. Um, and let's see. How is my strength looking? 14. I could technically go as a warrior now with this character so i'm going to do that there's also ranger ranger could be interesting too dexterity 15 yeah i might have enough i'm gonna do ranger that sounds pretty nice and then we're gonna be uh ashley <laughs> yeah we're gonna keep doing a spinoff on ash sure that's that's perfect for me um bow throwing and bows and throw is excellent perfect uh Press any key to continue. Okay, so we know where the shop is. Well, it generated it differently. Look at this. Holy book. We have war hammer, mace here. Everything's different <laughs> if we rolled the whole town. It's kind of cool that you could just get defeated while exploring the city. Um, potions. Okay, so I'm going to go over here to number six. Let's see. We got the wands. Amulets, we don't need any of that, but thank you. Oh my goodness, fine. Can I can I leave? I don't want to fight you, dude. Uh, ration, spikes, there's nothing good there. Oh my goodness. Are you, are you serious? I can't even shop. I can't even shop in this game. Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, we're going to be a dwarven uh, warrior. A female dwarven warrior. We're going to be called uh, Thorn. Sure, Thorn. Sounds great. Let's see if we can get some items from shops, if that's possible. All right, here we go. So, oh, wrong button. My mistake. So first, let's go to six. No, that is not what I need. Let's go to five. I wish it was easier to navigate the town. It's kind of crazy that the town is overrun with uh, bandits and stuff. Um, Longsword, here we go. So we have sling, longsword. I think I'm just going to take a standard longsword. Bastard sword. Ooh, maybe a bastard sword would be nice. 885 is kind of expensive, though, and I have 80 gold. I can't afford any of this. I need to fight some of these enemies so I can get some of these weapons here. Um, okay, so now we know what shop it is. Half-elf, beast slayer. So number three. All right, so let's go fight this guy with a P on his name. Mangy looking leopard, we have slain him, and now how much money do I have? Still 80, okay. 80 money. Uh, ration iron spikes. So some characters just have more money than others, I suppose. And because this character's backstory is uh, my father was a thief, I guess that's why I don't have that much money. So we have gloves and everything in here. Oh, everything's so expensive, isn't it? 
Here, I'll fight some of these, uh, what is this? Leper, I've slain it. Did I get any money for that? No, I did not. Leper, slain. They're not giving me any money, dude. That's not good. So, we already checked out number four, yeah. Okay, so we know... We know what's going on here in the city. We know we don't have enough money to do anything. So we're going to go ahead and, if I can, descend. How do I descend? Uh, e for exit. You're not using any equipment. Oh, sorry. Um, you dig with your hands, making no progress. <laughs> what? Am I supposed to dig with something else? Let's see. Okay, we figured out how to go down the staircase. So you hold shift and you press the same key as it looks like in the map. Uh, okay, so tunnel empty air. What do you mean? Oh, no, no, I don't want to tunnel through. No, no. Um, oh, sorry, I turned on the number lock key, so you're gonna probably be funky now. Let me let me turn the number lock back off. There we go. If you have number lock on, then it defaults to the controls over here, which is a little bit funky. So I'm gonna leave that off, and here we go. Let's go this way. What are we doing over here, by the way? 50 feet. Do we really need to tunnel through this? What are we doing here? It looks like I can't really do much, honestly. So we're gonna keep going this way. Oh, yeah, we can, we can progress. We just have no light at all, so. We have to work in the darkness right now. Um, 50 feet, I don't know what the 50 feet means. It means that we tunneled 50 feet? Oh, so it's just gonna take me back there again. Interesting. So this is the mines, huh? We dug down. How do we go back up? Can we go back up? Let's see. I see no staircase down here. I see no staircase up here. Okay. I'm the rookie. I'm a rookie dwarf. Interesting stuff. Anyway, let me try. Uh, let me try tunneling through. You dig with your hands. Still making no progress here. Okay. So I can't make any progress. A tunnel through what? No progress, no progress. Interesting. Do, do, do. There's got to be some way, some kind of path here that I'm not seeing. Oh, yeah, there it is. E. Cool. That's interesting. I'm paralyzed. A floating eye gazes at you. You're paralyzed. Oh, that sucks. You resist the effects. I'm paralyzed again. What are you doing, man? I'm gonna hit you. You hit the flowing eye, you hit the flowing eye. I'm paralyzed. It's not hitting me, it's just paralyzing me. So we can, yeah, there we go. Now we defeated it, nice. Let's go ahead and grab this question mark. You have a squirrel titled, Eep Oh, thank you. I uh, appreciate that squirrel. I don't know what that means, but okay. There's a closed door blocking your way. That makes sense. A closed door would block progress. I can open it. Um. I need to get torches, by the way. Torches would be valuable. I like that we have to operate in the dark if we don't have torches, though. So let's go over here. And we got nothing this way. Man, nothing over here. There's just some of these levels are just completely pitch black. All right, let's go see if we can open this door. So O for open, right? And that way. Oh, cool, it works. We succeeded in doing something that's a uh, progress. Progress is good. Um, okay, so up, down, nothing. I'm basically going to each step and pressing up and down. I don't see any way to go yet. And boom. And there's nothing over here, right? Open this direction. You don't see anything you can open there. I don't see anything at all, actually. So that's, uh, that's a true statement. Really need to bring torches when you come down into Moria. Gotta say, that's probably the most important thing to bring, if anything. Because now, I don't know which door to even open. You don't see anything to open there. You don't see anything to open anywhere. Nice. Okay, so what what do we have down here? There's got to be somewhere down here that I haven't tried yet. See, like that. Nothing, nothing, nothing. This crosses over here, so that's interesting in itself. And then it does nothing. Okay, so when you play Moria, you need torches. You need them bad. Or you will be lost. Like me. Now I can't even get back to where I began it. <laughs> oh, we're going down here somehow. 
Okay, cool. So that takes me back around to this thing. Interesting. 50 feet, 50 feet. Anything up here then? No. There's like a whole path here that's just completely hidden. I'll get to something. Okay, we're gonna try this one more time. So we're a dwarf, we're n our name is Rar, a male dwarf that has nothing that, wait, was there a torch in there? Hang on. We need to definitely get one of those before we go into anything else. We have 381 gold in this character, so that's a big plus. Uh, so we have hard cap, middle cap, we don't need any of those. What I wanna do is go here, hopefully we don't get attacked by that dude. So we have dagger, broadsword. Do we have any standard swords? Longbow, uh, shortbow, a spear. A spear could be good. Pike. Okay, I don't see a standard sword. So yeah, just remember three is a shop. Okay, so here, do we have any kind of torches? No, we do not. Maybe a mage would be good. Just, just, no, oh, dude, just go away. You're attacking me for no reason. I don't have any kind of torch here. And then six. I don't see any torches at all. Wand of light. Uh, Ring of resist cold. I guess none of these shops even have it. Wand of light, maybe. Seven charges, right. Okay, so let me check three again. Uh, three does have weapons, though. So we can potentially get one of those. I'm going to save it for now, though. It's good to know. Boop. Small shield, pair of gloves. All right, I, I'm gonna stay away from this dude. Dude, I don't wanna fight you. Oh my gosh. Stop asking me for stuff. All right, so we have... That's crazy, man. We don't have anything that would resemble a torch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and buy a weapon. We're gonna buy a stilato, that would be nice. Maybe we could just buy a dagger, yeah. A dagger for now would be fine. We are a warrior, but we don't necessarily need a sword, right? Um, Pike. We could get the spear, but the spear is kind of expensive, isn't it? Okay, let's do a dagger. We're going to buy P. We're going to P, and we're going to get A. What are you asking? I will ask what you're asking for. That's fine. Uh, I'll give you 19. Oh, sorry. 19. Fine. <laughs> you have a dagger. That's cool that you could bargain with him. Okay, so we're going to go over there. And thank you very much. So how do I equip the dagger? I, you're carrying this stuff. Wooden torch. We had wooden torches the whole time. F. Nice. Okay, good to know. Um, w for equip. Space to break. Where weld which one? Uh, Hang on. Dagger. We have two daggers, by the way. I had a dagger the whole time, apparently. D. We have D and E. So, D. You're now wielding a dagger. Can I wield two? Probably not. Um, what else can I put on? So, it's. Does it say I'm wielding the dagger? It does. Okay, so we have cloak, uh, soft leather armor. B. Let's let's put B on. Which is your map sector? Look which direction. No, none none of those. Never mind. Uh, B. You're wearing soft leather armor. Oh, thanks. And we're good on everything else, right? So then we just need to learn how to use torches, and then we should be fine. Nice. And we also have food rations. Okay, let's go. Let's go do this thing. So I need to press shift and press the direction. So. Uh, sorry, down. I need a torch right away. So let's figure out how to use an item. All right, so in order to do that, we can do question mark. Let's see, use item. What do we got? Inventory list. Yeah, that's definitely an inventory list. Throw item. Okay, so all I needed to do was equip it. And now I can see everything. I just needed to press the button to equip the, the torch. Uh... But now I need to change my equipment if I see an enemy. Let's see. What do we got over here? We can see everything. This is nice. Um, I see an enemy. So let's go ahead and press W and... Oh, hang on. Let me go to my inventory. So I, I think I'm going to have to leave the torch here for a second and equip my dagger. I, I still have the dagger equipped, actually. So let's go ahead and see what this R is. You hit the large white snake. You hit the large white snake. It bit me. Oh, no. 
I hit it. I've slain it. Thank you. You hit the Black Naga. It crushes me. Ow. How's my HP doing? I'm, I guess it's okay. 12. I have 12 HP. Got it. Uh, 7 HP. I'm dead. I, I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so that's Moria. Moria is pretty cool. Uh, both of these games have been pretty cool. Um, I'm just glad to look at some of the games that began it all, right? So September 4th is saying the date. Rip, Roar the Wook, Rookie, Warrior, level 1, 2 XP. We got 362 AU, which is our currency, I believe. Died on level 1, killed by Black Naga. Nice. So that's all the time I'm going to have for this. Uh, thank you guys so much for checking it out with me. But uh, what I want to do is I want to check out the next generation of roguelike games, which, you know, pr preferably I want to go down the whole list and get them all done and played and checked out. And it'll be awesome because I'm learning, too, along the way. I'm remembering how difficult DOS games were to play. <laughs> they can be pretty difficult. So, yeah, thank you all for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Also, we've got a, I got a Patreon. It's going to be in the description. You can check it out as well. Um, if you can if you can join up then go ahead and do that also a donation link if you want to help out the channel if you want to support me in any way that's really handy thank you so much all right everyone i'll see you next time Bye bye